Welcome yeah. to City Podcast, episode 60. My name is Nathan, this handsome young man. I am also Nathan. <laughs> yeah, we are the Nathans. We're all named Nathan today. I like Philly. Nathan. Nathan, you never go by Nate. Uh, Only when he's hanging out with hood bitches. Yeah. Dang. Mm. I've never heard anybody call you Nathan. Well, well some people do. Cindy, I, I, Cindy did it all the time. Yeah. Just call him Nasty Nate. No. I, I see people that you call him Nasty Nate. Yeah. That, that, oh. thing. that happened in high school when Nate Dog the rapper came out and then everyone yeah. called me Nate Dog. Okay. But I didn't know who Nate Dog was. No, oh, now he's dead. Don't compare me to Nate Phil. Dead. Is he dead? Yeah, yeah. he's real dead. Really? Oh, he's, he's been dead. dead for like 15 years. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what happened to broke Nate Dog? He, uh, he died. <laughs> he got got. <laughs> he broke Snoop Dog too. He got he got fucking uh, what you call it? Regulated, bro. Gee, yeah, Warren G died too. Yeah, that's yeah. Just, yeah. He died like five years ago. Yeah, 2011. Uh, <laughs> Nate Dogg died in 2011. Mm-hmm. 2011. Damn, that's Has fucking. It been that far? Has it been that long? That's six years. Yeah, it's almost as long as fucking. Uh, I'm reading. I'm reading the uh, the Wikipedia right now. I'm just trying to see how he died. Uh, 2007 suffered a stroke. Oh, that's not gangster. <laughs> <laughs> that's not gangster at all. <laughs> He died, he, he died like most black men. He was by, admitted uh, to the medical. Cardiac arrest, stroke. 2000, 2008, Sickle it was official. Salary. Stroke <laughs> rendered. You can't loving. even get that. So, anyway, we're here with Roman and Eric. We're guys. <laughs> For the Nate. So, Nate, how you been? Good, How's man. life in the oil fields? I'm doing good, man. Yeah, the oil fields treating you nice? Yeah, I mean, uh, I talked to my boss two weeks ago about transferring, and he didn't realize that I wanted to transfer. So that was pretty good. Mike's shoving a mark here's getting this mic real close to me. I want to make sure we get everything. <laughs> All the juicy parts. Yeah. I want to be inside you. Okay, so you asked so you asked for a transfer? No, okay. Well, this is how it went down. All right. Okay. When I first I first went out there, I thought I'd be out there for like 6 months. I'd be like, "Oh, I'm going to get in with this company. They have a terminal in San Antonio. After 6 months, I'll, I'll be coming back." And people did that. A lot of people did that. But then things started to slow down. Then I was there. Then things got bad. Then I quit. <laughs> then I went to another company. And then they called me and asked me to came back, come back. And when I came back, they were like, hey, here's the sweet deal, dude. You come back here. We're going to, you know, we want you to start a night crew, load some trucks and stuff. You do really good. You can go back to the daytime. And I was like, that's a terrible reward. <laughs> 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 it doesn't matter whether I work in the daytime or the nighttime. It really doesn't matter. I was like, but I want to go back home, please. And they were like, oh, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, maybe that'll happen. <laughs> Fuck <Maybe. you>. yeah. <laughs> and so that was like a year ago, probably. And the, the, the manager I made the deal with, he jet like after two weeks. He went, he went to the corporate office in Fort Worth. He probably went to him. He's like, hey, who's going to transfer out? Yeah. <laughs> I need to see him disappear. <laughs> and I actually saw him like six months later. And I was like, man, not only do I not, am I not working in San Antonio, I'm not working days. I'm still on nights. And he was like, oh, yeah, but things are okay, right? And I was like, I mean, yeah, I'm alive. <laughs> it's fine. I like how he just blow it off. I'm like, whatever, dude. He's like, that money's good, right? Yeah. Mm, there you go. But either way, now we have a new terminal manager who's younger than me, which is real weird. But he's a nice, he's an okay guy. And uh, the other day, I used to know a driver, and he did move back to San Antonio, and he works for Waste Management now, and he likes his job, but he he's like, oh, I don't like the schedule. Trash man, wake up way too goddamn early. Hey, it's like a four o'clock? It's two uh, in the morning. Uh, yeah, it depends on what like route you have. Two I in I the remember, goddamn morning. I remember my dad used to, yeah, dad used to work for mm-hmm. Waste Management. My dad worked for Waste Management for a long time. I remember him getting up like at the one o'clock. And then he lost touched that you. job. <laughs> huh? Huh? Your dad touched you? Oh, my dad didn't even know I was fucking there. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, that got dark fast. Uh, I just tried to spice it up. If I, if I touch, it means stab. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the story from our time. <laughs> so that's how my dad says, I love you, stab, but, stab. Uh, <laughs> now, now, actually, he has a pretty sweet schedule. He goes in like maybe at like 5 o'clock. So, yeah, which he's, is, which he's is, independent waste management. Right? No, no, he a he small company. No, he left waste management a long time ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they fired him for like. That's why every time I see a waste management truck, a fucking flipping bird. The yeah. They're like, "What? We're picking up your trash, dude!" <laughs> <laughs> bam, bam. 
fucking, fucking asshole. Guy's that guy's got go fuck rest. yourself. <laughs> Suddenly, fucking Roman tells us a big old money of trash. He's like, give us a bigger asshole. Well, it makes no sense. Imagine the trash Because <laughs> of you, I got to hear my parents smash during the daytime. <laughs> <laughs> So, no, but, but continue with your story. So, uh, so, way. so he was like, "Hey, let's go. Uh, can you can you go to the office and talk to the recruiter? Because the recruiter for the, all of Texas works at my terminal. Mm-hmm. And I and and tell her like, hey, I'll remember this guy. He wants to come back. And I was like, sure, I'll do that. Mm-hmm. And I went in there and I was like, hey, you remember this guy? He wants to come back. And she was like, oh yeah, I remember him. Yeah. And I was like, hey, by the way, what's going on with San Antonio? What's up with that lady? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and she, I didn't say it like that exactly, but she was like. Uh, it wasn't exactly rude, but it was basically like, "There's nothing for you there." God, damn. <laughs> Fucking, <it. laughs> like everyone forgot you. <laughs> this is your life now. So they shut down. You coming name. back home then? No, she was like, "I can give you a position in Millet," and I was like, "Well, where's Millet?" And I looked it up, and it's like an hour from here, like on the way to Laredo. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so that's, um, yeah. yeah, and I was like, "Man, where would I even live? I don't have maybe a tent or something." I don't know. <laughs> but. uh Either way, I had that conversation with her. You know, people at work talk. They talk and blah, blah, blah. So then the next day I came Nate in. Nate got a hard on for San Antonio. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and either way, the next day I came in and my boss was like, hey, uh, they're telling me you want to go back to San Antonio. And I was like, yeah, you've, you've known this for like a year. It was the <laughs> deal all, we made. I was high as <laughs> yeah. shit. I don't remember anything. <laughs> all these fumes, goddamn, well, it was all I could smell, man. No, but it's true. People at the oil field do a lot of drugs. Well, yeah, a lot yeah. of math. But you know, to be honest with you, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Because you're in management. You're not supposed to see well, it. I mean, people get drug tested house. a lot, man. Yeah. Although, I will tell you, one time I went to go get a drug test, right? Because I, I get random drug tests, like, every two or three months. Like, every two or three months, you, your name comes up and you got to go. And wherever you are, you got to go right then. Okay. Okay, one time I went to this clinic. And, uh, first of all... Like, it's weird timing. Like, sometimes you just don't have to pee. It's hard. Like, you don't have to pee. Yeah. And so oh, I went, our boy, Mark, knows all about this. <laughs> so yeah. I, went, I went to the clinic, and I was like, ah, oh, by the time I get there, I'll have to pee. It's mm-hmm. no big deal. Either, and I get to the clinic, and then they call my name, and I go to the thing, and I can't pee, and I can't even think about pee. Like, I feel like a desert. Like, there's no pee. <laughs> no pee possible. Yeah. But I do the forced thing, and I sit there, and I'm like, oh, come on, pee, pee, pee. <laughs> he starts jiggling the shit. He's like, oh, fuck, I got a motor. Wait, you sit there? Huh? No, I'm just standing there. So finally, like, I pee a little bit, and I'm like, oh, all right, there we go. Do, do they, are they in the same room as you? No, the, the not yet. Dick? Okay. <laughs> so in the beginning, you have privacy. And so then I give her the cup. But reg- remember, I didn't have to pee, so it's nothing. So then I give it to her and she's like, "This is nothing. That's not. That's not enough pee to she test." Drinks it. <laughs> Say <like>, shit. <laughs> need I need gallons. You need more <laughs> zinc in your fucking bag. I have a disagreement with her. She's like, "Also, it's not the right temperature." And I'm like, "Well, the temperature trip doesn't doesn't start until like my pee doesn't come up to the temperature trip strip, so I can't measure the temperature." And she's like, no, no, this is not the right temperature. This is not the right going time. On. What? And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. temperature? The, the temperature tells Okay, like, picture a little cup, and yeah, it's yeah. got, like, a little black strip that goes down it. Yeah. But it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. Uh-huh. And that black strip measures, like, the temperature of your pee. Is it supposed to be hot or cold? It's, it's supposed to be hot. body temperature. It's fucking hot, baby. Hot. So, and that's one of the boiling. boiling. That's one of the tests they do so that they know you didn't bring in fake pee yeah, or whatever. Yeah, because fake pee, oh. it doesn't even become blood. But it, like, starts, like, an inch <laughs> up. And I didn't have enough pee to, like, meet the temperature strip. Nah, so I was, like, telling her, like, turn it to the side. Turn it to the side, girl. <laughs> Watch my thing. <laughs> turn it to the side. And she was like, no, no, it's, it's, it's not. I can't. <laughs> so she was like, you know what? You're going to have to go back out. You've given me a bad sample. You're going to have to go drink some water, and you're going to have to be monitored. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, man, I gotta okay. see my fucking little wiener. <laughs> <laughs> so either way, I go back out, and I start drinking water, and they have a little water cup. Man, I drink, like, 14 cups of water. <laughs> and I still can't pee, though. I'm like, man, I don't have to pee. What the fuck is yeah. going on? <laughs> what the hell is happening here? Cold. I mean, of course, like, no, you don't realize like... that it takes, like, 45 minutes for the water to work through your system. For yeah. me, I'm thinking, like, oh, I'm gonna drink this, and it's like, shoot out my wiener. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's like, it's like a super soaker. Either way, I don't have to pee, don't have to pee, don't have to pee she keeps coming up to me are you ready i'm like no i'm not ready are you ready no i'm not ready and then finally like i have to pee like like volcano she's like, pee. Oh, we're close but then she tells me she's like well actually because you're a guy we want a guy to watch you 
and we don't have any guys here. I was there very early in the morning, like 8 in the morning. The guy doesn't come on shift until 9 a.m., so you have to wait a bit. I was like, motherfucker. I'm like, can't you just look at my dick? I don't know. <laughs> so then I'm like, man, I really got to go, really got to go. So then by the time I have to go, really, you know, finally. You should be proud you got that fucking nice, thick oh, fish yeah, boner. Oh, yeah, you got that boner. you don't want to waste it, jack off right away. <laughs> Either way, fi- finally, I'm like, I got to go. And the, the guy gets there. I'm like, oh, great. So <laughs> you see the guy, you drag him into a like, fucking oh, thank you. <laughs> you probably look gay. Take a look at my dick. It did not look gay as hell. Like as soon as he walked in, you're like, your was wrong. Yes. <laughs> Waiting for the dude didn't matter because like they were all in the room. And like I just had to do it in the door open with this giant like six foot mirror that they were watching me from the mirror. So that it didn't matter that I had to. Fuck, yeah, it didn't matter I had to wait. But then the most embarrassing part happens to me. Now I realize like I've got four people watching me. And now I can't pee. <laughs> <laughs> I got stage fright. All right. uh, yeah. And I literally mutter those words. Like, there's a woman watching me, and she's like, maybe you should go sit back down again, sir. And I'm like, it's just hard with y'all watching me. <laughs> <laughs> really? So hard. <laughs> <laughs> but Look at this piss uh, He's He was like <laughs> slowly stroking it. Well, first of all, they tell Very you too. Right. Like lips. <laughs> At the beginning, they tell you too that, uh, you know, you can't pee in the toilet. Like, yeah, you don't right pee away. in the toilet. So, don't but you know, <laughs> at first I'm like, I can't, I can't go. You're watching me. I can't go. And then finally I'm like, oh well, here it comes. Got 14 cups of water. We're going. <laughs> and then I start peeing, and it's like rock, you know, like a, like a, what was like those, a super like, soaker. Those water things that cut cement. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, shit <laughs> a water jet? Yeah. Either way, I feel the cup within like two seconds. Like fill the whole goddamn cup, and I've still got to go so bad. And I'm literally like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Stop looking at my dick. <laughs> but yeah, I know it's girthy. <laughs> I came up and I just let go and I just started peeing in the toilet. I was like, fuck it, I got, I'm sorry. And I just started peeing in the toilet. <laughs> like, you can't do that, they try to stop you. <laughs> and then, you <laughs> fucking pinch it. It became a different type of embarrassing where it was one of those pees where it's like a three minute pee where it's like, you're just like, okay, it's over. Oh, no, it's not pee. over. You know what they say? Oh, okay, it's, it's over. It's about you can't stop. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I slowly strokes it. <laughs> so either way, long yeah. story short, you get drug tested in the oil field. Oh, but what was the, the point of it was <laughs> get it back to the original. Story. The point of it was the point of that story was okay. You said people do drugs. I said I've never seen it, but that same situation. So in between that happening, I came outside and I was sitting in the waiting room, and a guy was like, what, "What's up?" And I was like, "Oh, they said my sample was bad. I don't know. I, d- I really didn't have to pee." And he was literally like, "You need pee." <laughs> and that was like actually like within my first six months there and I was like whoa there's a, a whole there's a whole underground it's a whole underground pee network there's a business too in the underground yellow but road still, still to this day I wonder what happened like does he pull it out of his armpit does it come out the uh, side of a they, jacket they, they carry fake dicks I think oh. and it's I think, like a, it's loaded into I like think that guy's just like why is your smoke? dick black sir <laughs> At least one of those, in, one of those professional there. peers. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not even like it's just the color black. But it <laughs> like, was so. That's not right. It was so like literally. I was like, yeah, it's fuck. I was just saying it like it's bullshit. Yeah, it's bullshit. Like I didn't have to pee that bad. And then blah, blah blah. And he's like, you need pee. <laughs> <laughs> I got Wait. some in my mouth right now. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I got you. <laughs> It's like, I got these special crowns. One bite. Boom. So, I don't even down. Fuck. <laughs> I don't even remember what I said to him, but I think, I, I, think I was polite. I think I was like, oh, you know what? I'll be okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's I appreciate awful, it. That's, awful, that's, that's awful, awful, awful nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> Which passed. That's a good appreciate thing. appreciate it. Thank oh, you. yeah. Drug free is the way to be. <laughs> but to answer your question, do people do drugs? I've never seen people do drugs, but they're selling pee, so they must be doing drugs. <laughs> Someone's doing okay, it. Okay, what about the original question of a transfer? Oh, yeah, then my mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, so then my, uh, that worked right, must have worked its way around the office to my boss, and my mm-hmm. boss gave it to me the next day, and he was like, hey, I heard you want to transfer. I was like, yeah, well, I would like pee. to transfer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, either way. Like, you, I heard you're long peer. <laughs> Can't transfer you. You peed in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one rule, dude. <laughs> it automatically disqualifies you. He's like, you know what? You bought a toilet, though. It's yours. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, eventually, he he was like, oh, I didn't I didn't know that. And I was like, really? We've had conversations about this before. And he was like, oh, well, 
I thought you said you were retiring. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, let me talk to the people from San Antonio and, you know, let me see. I'll tell them next time something opens up, you know, uh, that I've got a guy. He literally he was like, next time, I'll tell him next time something opens up, I'll tell him I got a guy who's okay. But then he started, <laughs> yeah, then he started the manager speech. He's like, What do you want to do in this company though? <laughs> or you want money? Yeah. Fuck your wife. <laughs> <laughs> After that statement, go fuck his ass on. Dude. He's like, ha, jokes on you, I only have a husband. He's like, That's fine. And then I'm alright with that. Yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna get his slapped by the long sack. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even technically off today today. I took yesterday and today off. Because I have so many vacation hours stored up, they were like, you're going to lose them at the end of the year if you don't use them. You can't sell them? I, I wish. Yeah, my brother's in my brother's company. He could sell his vacation time. I was thinking about that the other day. I was talking to him the other day. I was like, why can't we sell these bitches? I got gold. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's vacation time. My, my brother works for the... I got vacation time falling out my dick. My brother works for the H-E- You want pee? <laughs> <laughs> like, I got everything. <laughs> Yeah, he works for the H E B warehouse. Yeah. They, they, you could sell your vacation time. Oh, I wish. Yeah. So now you're just waiting for something. <clears throat> now you're just waiting for something to open up. I guess. Like a pussy. Damn. Yeah. Are you keeping track of, track on it as well? No. You should be like, hey, I see something opening up. Track yeah. for me, you fuck. Yeah. Well, I don't want to work in the office because there are two things I realized in my life. I don't do well in offices. One thing I realized in my life is I don't do well. In <laughs> <laughs> I felt like there was an end to that. Oh, uh, I thought I thought like halfway like through two it, like things. I don't work well in the office, and the second one, I don't know how to make lists. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, halfway that's through this, that's why I don't work in the office. <laughs> Can you make me a list of two? Uh, fuck no. <laughs> Might as well find me right now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking do it right now. Um, but you should have gone to like Louisiana or something with your vacation time. I don't know. I should mm-hmm. have. You fucking but, go and hit the casinos and shit. The ironic thing to Why me about... Why do you keep on rubbing your shit off of other people's like... Because casinos are really fun. Casino. Each person that said you should go to casinos, they guns. They, it was pretty funny. I won like 50 bucks. I was like, all right, good for they you. They lost 300. <laughs> Who lost 300? No one. Everybody. I don't know. I don't like to gamble. Well, what would you want to do for a vacation? That's not true. No you idea. always like gambling. You're, You're like, about? I bet you 100 bucks. Something, something yeah, but that's so I got. I don't have to pay if I lose. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you're making money, you can't. Yeah. You can. It's true. Probably still wouldn't. <laughs> so, so what is this? He's a bad gambler. <laughs> so what is he's the key? Well, I, got my, I got my he's fingers a, behind my back. You didn't see. He's a bad gambler. <laughs> like a sore loser. <laughs> what is an ideal vacation for for Nate? I have School. no idea. Come sense on his Pretty much, yeah. Huh? Well, sleep, 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 and more sleep. I mean, t- like today, like I said, I wasn't supposed to be off, but I took today off so I could use part of that vacation time so I don't lose it. But also, I was going to like blow my brains out. Because these past three weeks, what I was gonna, I was like, man, when I heard the podcast about y'all talking about the gas stations and stuff, I was like, oh man, I wish I could call in or something like that. Oh yeah, it already happened. Always <laughs> <laughs> email us, baby. Well, I mean, it already happened. Uh, Doesn't matter. That's why we have the email so that yeah, you can contact us. Yeah, that's true. True. Why don't we just put them in the in the chat and that way? Oh, that's right. He doesn't have Facebook. No, I don't. Oh, oh wait, so, we, wait. During that whole shit, did they just make you work? More or what? No, it was just that uh, that you guys were right to be angry that there wasn't really a shortage. That blah blah, you know. Yeah, yeah we, it was all made <laughs> up. Yeah. Dumb, yeah. Okay. But at the same time, there's not a shortage. But even companies were taking advantage of it. So like the place where we get our fuel from, like our big truck fulls of fuel is like char- jacking up the prices because they're like, oh well, there's a hurricane, and you're like, yeah, but you got fuel. And you're like, yeah, but there's a hurricane, dude. You don't know what happened there. <laughs> gotta, so, s- gotta save this gas. As a result of that, like it's like you know, way more expensive to get it from our refinery in our city. So they've been shipping it in from like San Antonio and from Dallas and from all you know. So you're the one who fucking took our gas. I see how no, it is. I mean, I, I mean, mean diesel. <laughs> diesel. Yeah, I took yeah. your diesel. I didn't take your gas. The the wrestler. Yeah. 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 Damn. He <laughs> daddy diesel. Nah, he's not. Nice. No. Okay. I think King I Nash. I think I saw him in a uh, Magic King Mike. Nash. Doing some terrible Either dance way. moves. So because, yeah. because it's a bad of back. That, you're right. <laughs> I have like 16 transports a night bringing loads of fuel that I gotta offload, and it's just miserable. So you're like, nah, I'm not going in. Yeah, basically. There you go. That's there's like, I never want to quit a job really, but mm-hmm. like in the past two weeks, I would really, there's like moments where halfway through where I'm like, 
Then I'm gonna go home. I don't He's like, here's the sun has that right now. <laughs> <laughs> like slinging comics, I could do that. Well, yeah, because, I think we're looking for drivers where I work. Because uh, <laughs> the worst part is like they ordered too much, and like we have three hundred thousand gallons of storage, but we couldn't fit it anymore. So you just poured it into the ground? Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> we have another. We have another yard, but it's like two miles away. So what would happen is like four guys would pull pull up. And I'd be like, all right, well, let's go to the other yard. And I'd take them over to the other yard, offload them all, come back to the yard, and there'd already be five waiting. I'd be like, oh, okay, let's go back to the other yard. <laughs> wow. And I started Why becoming... Why did you just make a sign just like, go to the other yard? Ah, uh, man, because I had my own work to do at my yard oh, okay. that they were interrupting. And I literally started to become a giant douchebag. And I don't like good. being a douchebag. Good. But these guys would come up, and like I wouldn't even say hello or anything. I'd be like, you're going to have to wait. Fucking, they guys managed your rates too. <laughs> so before before you got here, fucking, I've been telling Mark, man, Mark, you've been angry, and Eric, Eric's been angry too for like the last two weeks. He's like, it's that fucking manager's rate. Well, it's, it's, it, it's like responsibility. We're like, everyone else is allowed to go like, eh, hey, they're gonna do it, <laughs> <laughs> and like That's everyone goes down the line. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta, and then it comes to you, and you're like, "Well, fuck! I have to do it." Because <laughs> I don't want to be a dick and be like, "You do it." He has to. So you just do it. This is it. Today, now you, dude, now you tell them to do it. Check it out. No. Well, yesterday, I just tell him to wait. I just tell him like, "I'm doing this right now. Wait, wait. I'll wait. be with you for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Please. you for your time. <laughs> Mark, Mark, just do it." Literally, most of the same guys were coming every night. They would like go to San Antonio, bring a load of fuel. Go back to San Antonio, bring a load of fuel. Go to Dallas, bring a load of fuel. And they would literally walk up to me, going like, "I know you don't like to see me, but I'm here." <laughs> Like, no, I no. didn't bring any fuel, but I got a load for you. <laughs> it's pee. Slow jerk. It's, it's pee. pee. It's pee. <laughs> I heard you were looking for pee. I got the pee. pee. I, got I also have dog. vacation time. You need, <laughs> you need that yellow sticky stuff? You need that clear stuff. God, Wait, wow. is pee sticky? It's sticky. It was like pee <laughs> sticky. Why would it come to oh. yellow? Oh. Yeah, I'm talking about pee. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's like three kinds of pee. Is there? There is. Yeah. There's uh, like clear pee. There's, yeah, there's the clear one. There's the regular. And there's yeah. like the really dark. Like I've been in the sun all day. Yeah. Yeah. I was in the sun. Did you pee dark? There's, there's a pee like... with a little bit of blood in there. Because I had the one. I did the one where I almost like passed out because I drank too much water. I almost Ooh. gave myself water poisoning because I drank so much water, and that when I peed, it was. Fucking clear. It was it was like pure water, and then you start I got your own bottling plant. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and my probation officer, like maybe a month or two after that, like we got your results in. They said it was very diluted. <laughs> Yeah. So I, just, I drank like fucking eight gallons of water. I did. He's like, I was, I, was sitting, I was sitting on the side of the road, like trying to finish like my fourth bottle, and <laughs> as soon as I like. As soon as I was just standing or Wait, just sitting down were, there, because you couldn't pee, because I couldn't trying to hide it. Oh, because okay. I was I couldn't pee, and so as I was trying to finish the water, I started getting like really bad tunnel vision, what? like I was gonna pass out. And I was like, oh shit! <laughs> I was, and I said, I, I discovered a new drug. They gave yeah, they gave you three it's strikes. A real, it's a real shitty drug. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes you black out. Oh, yeah, this and pee vision. on yourself. <laughs> so they gave they give you three strikes. They never tell. They never told me this. Like the first time, you gotta go, undo your pants, mm -hmm. and then you gotta like like a fucking kid, bring them down to your knee, <laughs> and then lift up your shirt like above your stomach, and then you gotta turn around to the to the nurse oh, and show them, show them your dick like like you're that kid. <laughs> like this is my pipi. So that's, that's not the first time when I, couldn't, <laughs> when I couldn't go, I was sitting there. And I was like, I can't fucking go. And I like, can't imagine so just standing like that. I'm going, I'm like trying to pee. And as I'm trying to push it, I feel like something coming out of my ass. And so I have to take a dump. And I can't just pee without taking a dump. I gotta take a dump first, then you gotta pee. And even though I just showed my dick to like a, a nurse, I'm not about to take a shit in front of somebody. <laughs> I guess I'm just telling my story now. He's like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, can I just like, 
can I trust you to not drink this much water? Yeah. <laughs> so he, he's like that dude shit on so he's all drugs. He's fucking pedo. He's all that good that's, shit. So that's strike two and right, three. <laughs> right next to the drug to the drug testing place is a library. <laughs> so I go and I'm like, I'm sitting there and I'm just like I can't I can't do this. Like I gotta take a dump first, like <laughs> I got to take a dump. I'm not going to pee in front of them. So I go and first I go get more water, drink more water. Like maybe if I get more water in me, I can actually pee. Yeah. It'll combat the... the and I get like a bottle of water, kind of like this regular one, but imagine like a way taller one. It's like, like one of those, water? Yeah, the Aquafina ones that are like hey. fucking thick as fuck and like tall as hell. Hey. Hey. Down that bitch yeah. down. And also, for some reason, I think this was a bad. I think the bad choice was I downed a fucking monster too, or it was a Red Bull. Mm. That's what made me want to take a dump. <laughs> so, when after I downed that, I go straight to the library, and I was like, "I'm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a shit, and then right before I gotta pee, just hold that bitch in. <laughs> Perfect, <laughs> perfect plan. Mm-hmm. The dump was so satisfied that I couldn't. There was no way I was gonna hold any pee." <laughs> So any that I had to use for the, the drug test automatically just fell out of me. Like yeah. I remember as soon as the dump happened, uh-huh. it was like it was like after busting a mad load, I was like, oh my god, it feels so good. <laughs> and you just hear like the pee just like just dribble up. I was like, damn it. It's like, oh. it's like oh my god, I just fucking boo. So I get two bottles, I get the bottle of water that I have. Mm. Fill that up at their water fountain, mm-hmm. chug that, and then fill it up again. Mm-hmm. Chug it, and now I'm starting to question myself: like, do I have to pee now? So I try to go back. That is the worst part. Was yeah. like, you have to pee. You're like, do I have to pee? Yeah. No, I don't have to pee. Wait, no, no, I don't have to. Exactly. pee. Exactly. So I go back and get tested again, mm-hmm. and you gotta do the same routine again. You gotta fucking <laughs> show them your dick. Uh huh. You gotta go see the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Turn around, they're like, you need white bright. Yeah. <laughs> they're like a big street. I don't care. God, Dingleberry. Hey, dog, there's like other druggies out, out there. You think I'm worried about that? That's probably the best you've seen all week. Yeah, you're not wrong. Look at so, this dick. Look, yeah. it's all trimmed. So, yeah. Hey, I'm the first, <laughs> the first drug I see with it's a nice trim dick. So, I go and I can't finish. Like, I can't pee at all. And that's when he hits me with like, all right, man, you've been here twice. You got one more shot. After that, you're done for the day. And the probation officer is like, you have to do this today. If not, you're going to be in trouble well, and you're going to go to jail. Yeah, like, it's like all ah. fucking pressure. Yeah, this is a bunch of pressure. So I go and that's, this is where, the part where I was telling you, this is where I'm at now. I'm sitting right in the corner. Blagging out. Almost like double fist in two waters. So now I got like at least a whole gallon in me. Mm-hmm. Questioning myself if I gotta fucking pee, right when I get to the part part where I'm like blacking out, I'm like, I think this is now the time. <laughs> I down the water, which hurt like hell. Like just you can hear it in my stomach. Like you know when you just kind of sit there, you just hear it sloshing. Like you could just hear like the whole fucking oh, thing. God. Jesus. It's and I'm like, up water, he's just like Ugh. and it comes to the point where I'm like trying to see if I can force myself to pee in my own pants. Like I don't <laughs> I care. Did that too. <laughs> I would stand up like with a cup of water and be like. <laughs> Like, if I can get a little dribble on me, that's fine. I don't care. I'm at the point where I don't care. <laughs> exactly. So, I got two strikes. <laughs> yeah. So, as soon as I feel it, like, I got the fucking mad piss boner. Uh-huh. It's thick as hell. Yeah, it's, it's ripping off your pants. Yeah. Right <laughs> that's why I got holes in my pants now. Yeah. Um, so, I know I have to pee. Like, I'm like, this is it. This is, this is fucking do or die. <laughs> I go and... You have to wait for a little bit, but you get you don't have to wait the whole time because it's a long fucking wait period. It's like a good hour, mm-hmm. and they only have three bathrooms, and they have to have nurses to check. It just fucking takes way longer than it has to. Yeah. Since you don't pee, they jump you straight to the line to your <laughs> next one. And the line, so that pisses off everyone else. And this fool couldn't pee. Yeah. Get him up here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the late pisses. Yeah, let him go again. We got we got two striker right here. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's, and there's and people actually loud. peeing yeah. on themselves in line. <laughs> As he's walking up, he's like, you so, got it, champ. Get let it go this time. Yeah, Drew slow. <laughs> so I get there. <laughs> Way to go, young blood. Way to go. <laughs> each, each time they tell you. got any crack. <laughs> <laughs> so we get to the bathroom, and each time they tell you, like, they got to go through the whole fucking spiel 
Instead of me just sitting there, like, listening to him, I was, like, already fucking opening my pants and, like, <laughs> Your showing pants were yeah. down before you went in. I, like, zipped open and was really, like, showing him, like, <laughs> showing yes, him the guts. Yes. <laughs> Something's <there>. happening. <laughs> fucking pants go, like, all the way down. Uh-huh. <laughs> and he gives me the cup. Uh-huh. And it's, like, a regular cup. You know where the fucking line's at. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I go, like, within a second... It passes the line. The guy's like, no, 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 not that much. <laughs> <laughs> so I give it to him. I'm like, well, here, take it. And I'm like, I ain't stopping. <laughs> you fucking slosh it on him. <laughs> I pass it to him, and I can see him, like, with the bear in front of me, which he could see me. Um, I'm just, like, pouring some out. I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait. <laughs> And I'm going, go, and I'm just like fucking, just I just keep fucking pissing, like farts a little bit. Yeah, I was about <laughs> oh, to let it rip. <laughs> and I'm still fucking peeing. And the guy's just standing there with the cup, and he's like, um, "All right, well, I'll just wait for you outside." <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. I was in there for like a good three minutes of just fucking continuously yeah, peeing. Right, right. It was just pure liquid. After I was done, everything was great. My cousin like came to pick me up. Mm. We went. This is a little little after all this. We go to uh, we go to the mall downtown because mm-hmm. it's like came and his family. They came back from fucking I think they were at Guam at the time or they were back from Seattle. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so we go and like since I broke the seal, I have to pee every five minutes. We get there, and that, I'm like, that's actually what happened too. Yeah, as I was driving home, I was like, okay, I gotta stop at this gas station. Get five miles. I gotta stop at this gas station. <laughs> it was like within every minute or two, mm. I had to go. I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom. Go hang out with him. Like, I bet I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> After I just told him like, my whole ordeal. I think he's abusing drugs. Yeah. <laughs> he even questioned me at one time. Like, he's sitting down. We're all sitting down to eat. And, like, I go up to the bathroom three times. Mm-hmm. After the second time, he's like, what the fuck are you doing in there? I'm like, Nick, I'm fucking peeing right now. <laughs> like, you could come with me and check on me right now. Like, I already showed you. I already showed someone my dick today. I'll show it to my cousin. <laughs> He told the story and Mike was like, I gotta get a better job. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> I think the second time when I went, I was like, the nurse didn't ask me ask to see my dick. And then you messed me back like, I think you were sexually assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I was a little hurt. This dude, this dick was tall too. He was like fucking six foot five. Mm. He probably saw my dick. He didn't have to even ask. He'd just peek over and see my dick. <laughs> fucking call that a dick. It's no bigger than my pinky finger. <laughs> Look at this big old fucker. Yeah. Oh, that. He tapped me on the forehead yeah. with it. I was like, ah. That'll it destroy was... a chick one night. <laughs> <laughs> just the pinky alone. God damn. Be- because of my similar experience, so the next time I had the drug test, I came prepped. Did I you? was like, I was getting water on the way there. I was good to go. When I came in, I was like, I'm going to pee right away, ma'am. You watch. I don't get to pee, man. <laughs> yeah, Oh, boy, Nate. Yeah. Ooh, he going to do it. Ooh, he. After, yeah, I, I would say. The, after, funny, the weirdest part is, like, now I go back to that clinic. I'm like, these people have seen my wiener before. <laughs> yeah. But I haven't I seen I, shit from them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Show me after, your wiener. <laughs> Show me a titty or something. Come on. Show me I your think, wiener, lady. Tip I think dick. after that, like, I was just totally cool showing anyone anyone my yeah. dick at that clinic. I <laughs> that. Right? Right. Yeah. Just starts walking around pantless. I mean, like, I'm here for the drug test. Yeah. You just fucking <laughs> slap it up my thighs. <laughs> just coming with assless chaps. Just, I'm ready. It is, funny, it is funny, though, that, like, being sober and not doing drugs and just being, like, a neurotic weirdo makes you look like you're, like... Like, I if I was that clinic perfect, from the clinic's perspective, I'd be like... That dude can't pee. What a weirdo. <laughs> then he left and he came back and I was peeing on everything. Yeah. <laughs> He's clearly on drugs. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> That's probably the same shit for me, yeah. too. <laughs> All on drugs, y'all guys were the coolest dudes ever. <laughs> so, I didn't know what to say because, like, after I had to take a shit, I'm like, should I just, like, sit down and be like, hey, I gotta poop, so. If you want to see me just like fucking <laughs> spread my legs with my dicks out, it's fine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you need a story for the week. <laughs> Help me out. Yeah. Can I trust you? I know I'm at the lowest point of my life at this probation thing, but I'm not yet ready to shit in front of someone. God damn. <laughs> so they, they told you it was just deleted after that? Yeah, they, they said it was just like, it was 
Basically, she said the whole thing came out diluted, so it just means it was fucking pure they, they, water. They sit him down, he's like, you know, you're not doing drugs. You might want to take some vitamins for it. Yeah. There's something wrong with you. Something wrong with you. You need some vitamin C. Go see the real doctor. <laughs> some milk. Uh, yeah. He gets him all fucking paranoid and goes to a hit with MD. He's like, you're already dead. Yeah. <laughs> See, I was thinking maybe the monster would help yellow it a bit instead of just being clear. Obviously, it did it. It just made you poop. Yeah, it just made me fucking poop hard. Oh, <laughs> that, was like, that was a good poop in my life. I, that would rank at least in the top ten. Library really? poop. Yeah, library <laughs> poop. <laughs> so, so, so Every time you drive by it, you just... <laughs> you nod, just knowing. We which is weird. Which is weird. I have a lot of. I, I have a lot of <laughs> memories just in that block alone. That, like, right at that library is where I pooped. But then, a little couple of like businesses down is like an abandoned house, and there was some dude who got murdered there. <laughs> so as soon as I got out of out of probation, just drove. You see all the cops like over the body, just like. Mm. Just <laughs> spitting on him. <laughs> yeah, he did. Too much yeah. water. This is like, worse. Mm-hmm. This is this is worse than the, the library trashing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. that was a lot of piss and shit for one day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to add on to it. Oh. you know what? we're gonna start I, the show with a fucking tribute P, to uh, or P Brothers. <laughs> we we P- found each other's paint. <laughs> <laughs> this show is supposed to be a tribute to fucking Hugh Hefner. No, well, I mean, I would have never man. been a part of a tribute to Hugh Hefner. What's wrong with Hugh Hefner? I, I thought he was dead. I thought he was already dead. I thought he was already dead, though. Like when I saw that night when he died, I was like, "Huh, all right." Oh, you haven't been dead for ten years. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, you're dead now. <laughs> you court. outlasted Nate Dogg and Warren G. <laughs> <laughs> that, that man changed a lot of things for sexuality. You gotta give it up to him. I'm not gonna give him shit. Why not? <laughs> Fuck him. That's he why. Got, he got. He got lucky. He yeah. took some pictures of some naked chicks, and they're like, he was, "People will see him." He, I was, got, he was a pervert. And he made money off of it. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah, fine. Exactly. I I'm wish not, I can do that, but I didn't. So I get, I get a restraining order. Yeah. But he made Playboy a brand, though. That's that's fine. Anything can be a brand. And now all these fucking thoughts want to be bunnies and shit. They're not going to be, so who cares? Yeah. I thought they stopped doing nudes in Playboy now. They brought it back because the non-nude was not selling. Obviously. Why would you not do nudes in Playboy? Yeah, yeah it's... Because they were trying to turn it into, like, Magzum. A, a magazine. Uh, and people I, bought it because they wanted... Everybody don't worry, his son's going to burn fucking Playboy into the ground. It's That's actually, fine. He gave his company to his daughter. Ooh. She'll burn it to the ground. She's going to start making it real sensitive, <laughs> like, and about lesbians, and you're just like... I was in it for the lesbians. What if it's no, more about what if, feelings? Now. What if it's not well, about kind that? Because she's been running the company for like ten years. What if she goes like full fucking throttle and it's like nothing but spread eagle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's trying to hustler. hustler? Fuck yeah! <laughs> Is there one way that we can beat hustler? Out hustle the hustler. <laughs> <laughs> but next week bondage month. <laughs> you know, you know how we have, you know how everyone has the fucking spreadsheet mm. just. Full fucking lips all across it. <laughs> you know what? It, what is interesting though is that, like, you know, you have brothers and sisters though that are gonna grow up not having known magazines. That's how I discovered nude girls was magazines. Yeah. Yeah, my dad had some in his truck. Yeah. And, and there's people now that have like, why would you ever look at a magazine? Well, you know that Playboy is some of them are worth a couple of thousand. I can still remember unstick being in my. <laughs> I can still remember like. We had two TVs in the house. My older brother had a TV, and then we had a TV in the living room. And when my older brother was out doing whatever my older brother did, I would like jack it off to play <laughs> one night. I'd be like, "Oh, I get the TV, and I would get to watch whatever I wanted." And one day I was in there, and he had built like this little cave, like a video game cave, and like in the corner of it, I found like f- like two Playboys, two Hustlers, and something else. Yeah, and I was like, adults. whoa. One magazine actually called Spread Eagle. I was like, jeez, <laughs> this is crazy. Is this what girls look like? I was analyzing it like crazy. And then I remember my mom coming in to like, say dinner or something like that. And I threw it. <laughs> <laughs> um, was that like, instead, of like, instead of just tucking it in the thing. Mm-hmm. Like she was like, hey, dinner. I'm like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, mom. <laughs> and I remember her literally being like, What's, what, did, what was that? I saw which, a which is the worst shit. thing. Why did I throw it? Because now she's like wants to know what I threw. So then she goes and picks it up, and she's like, "Oh, neat." <laughs> <laughs> so uh, and I was like, "John, <laughs> it's, it's that fucking losers." It was. Uh, <laughs> I like man, Bob. <laughs> 
<laughs> our shit was reversed, dude. My dad had bought his new truck. It was like late late nineties. He bought a, his new truck and he was gonna give me his old truck. So we were cleaning out his work truck because it's a fucking everything. Me and my mom and him and Eric were cleaning out the work truck. And she in the fucking back there's a stack of new magazines. And she just fucking closed the door. He's like, and he goes, he calls, he yells at my dad. And he's like, what are you guys fighting for? He's just reading the magazine. He's like, oh. <laughs> he's like, mom, these are mine. And he's like, no. So she started ripping them. He's like, she started, don't do She it. started burning them too. And I was oh. like, fuck that. So I saved them. And I had them, I had them hidden in my restroom for a while. They just smelled like gasoline and burnt. <laughs> so my dad just took the pile and put it in the trash. And everyone just took it out. He's like, yeah, right. I was like, I want to see what that fucking puss look like. So, nice. uh, Fast Push. forward to maybe like a couple years ago, we were cleaning out the garage and we found a box of fucking magazines. He's like, oh, this is where I left them. Eric's like, yup. It's the scum box. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, hell yeah. The shame box. Then, and then the only reason I wanted to go work with my uncle was because he used to sell them. Flea market. And, uh, <laughs> I went to the back of a truck and I was just looking around the trucks, right? Because he was just busy working on cars and he's like, go watch the back. And I was like, all right. (laughs) I'll watch something, all right. (laughs) He he told me to like uh, start sending down down one of the cars and I did it for a while and I was like, man, this is fucking boring. So I started walking around and behind like an old El Camino where it was and I was like, oh shit, this porn. I was like, damn. (laughs) I wonder if he knows about it. I tried stealing him. He's like, don't take my porn. I was like, (laughs) fuck. Every time. Do you know what I remember now? Uh, when he went to Nine Lives Books right there across Heroes. Mm-hmm. He, he's like, he came back. He's like, you know they sell Playboys at the bookstore? He was 24. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, and he's like, I'm going to go to the bookstore more often now. Just straight to the Playboys. Go, I, you go on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Remember, By this time, remember, the internet's uh, all there. Because people remember. are going to grow up with magazines. They ain't going to grow up with Channel 99. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 69 and 70 if you had the box. Which, I don't know if you remember, there's flashback buttons on remote controls. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, baby. I would have, like, <laughs> Fox. And then, like, 99, I'd have mm-hmm. the flashback button. You, what you and I would just do sit in the living room, like... If I heard something, flashback. <laughs> <laughs> to be to be extra safe, because that flashback gonna get you back, man. Flashback. You hit flashback. Uh, they just take the remote, flash it back to what you're watching. So you flashback something boring, then stand to the channel you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like you were channel flipping. Yeah. Like you have a whole system. Oh yeah. 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 You had to. <laughs> that that's not even. I remember. This wasn't even fucking like real porn. This is when we had like legit cable, so I couldn't get porno. I had to like jack off to that weird shit, like uh, real, real sex, <laughs> oh, yeah. where it's like the ugliest people yeah. you'd ever imagine <laughs> that you don't want them to have sex. Dead taxi cab Yeah, you see one titty, you're like fucking <laughs> jacking it hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jacking exactly. It and you gotta, you, you gotta do it because you don't know when the next one's gonna. Yeah, pop. but you know who you had to go that to? Fucking him in there. You open the door to that. I was like, yo, king there. of the classy smut. <laughs> I wasn't interested in classy smut. I just want smut. <laughs> well, it's like how, ti- sure. how, sure how much times me. changed even in five years? Because then I found out recently that my little brother like went, ran his own porn website. What? He had like a he had like a GeoCities website. <laughs> God damn it! And he would go get like pictures of porn, and he would like put it on his GeoCities website, and then he'd like tell his friends like, oh. Come to this website. I got I got what you're looking for. I got the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> other pictures of other girls. From other and that was at the time when I was still probably typing with two fingers. Like, <laughs> I still do that. <laughs> still <a> hand pick. <laughs> yeah. Did he try to Did he try to do the Hugh Hefner thing where he like came out with a robe, but it was like your mom's robe? No, I think like, white, oh, the, with the fucking the bubble pipe. Pipe. With the, with the bubble. The pipes. <laughs> But you know what Playboy we actually made where celebrities started doing nudes too? Oh, yeah. Those were one of the most... Did it that... capitalize on that? Yeah. Bit, yeah. One of those ma- the magazines where the celebrity nudes are worth... Oh, like, like the Marilyn Monroe shit. Yeah. yeah. Marilyn Monroe, Shan Dorothy from Nights of Pono. What was she doing? doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. With her goofy ass eyes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm pretty Is sure... Is she still alive? Yeah, she's still I alive. So. I, I think she has, she has cancer. cancer. Yeah. yeah. I think she has breast cancer. Let's get, let's get that back. <laughs> but if you the women of breast cancer <laughs> you'd be surprised how many people actually uh, post for Playboy I wouldn't be surprised I'd just be like okay you know what took care of that though the fappening you know what I'm talking about yeah dude yeah. 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 slash nudes <laughs> 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 I can see anybody now I don't give a fuck that's true who needs magazines well in the 90s you had Playboy 
In the 90s, you know. Well, I mean, I did, you had Playboy, but then you like you would get hustlers. I, like, I was so poor. You want to have 18 and went. The way my brothers described it, Playboy was the classy <laughs> stuff. You're like, oh, yeah. okay. You see fucking titty well, here and there. That, but then you had hustler for the weird shit. Like yeah. that Obviously. in depth shit. I was like, all right. Nigga, you fuck. basic as fuck. Well, that, <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Is like, I, I was actually talking to my family about this. I was like, man, we're really poor. Because I don't remember going like anywhere when I was a kid. So the fact that there was like a magazine that I could maybe buy, out of the question. I remember buying one magazine when I was really into wrestling as a kid. And now I'm really into wrestling now. It's just fucking full circle. Full circle. But I remember that was like the one that I bought. Oh, that's not true. There's two. I I remember fucking Game Pro. Hell yeah. (laughs) Game Pro and Nintendo Pro? I think yeah. that's something but the, the, the point yeah, being, a, everyone had like Game Informer. Game, game Informer. Yeah. No, they true. had the they had the one with the um, shark, the shark, the fucking game shark. That's Game Pro. Game. Yeah, the game game Pro. Was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, at the I same because I remember the the book. I don't think many people. Are, you remember when H E B used to sell comic books? Yeah, yeah they did. Remember? They still do. Some of them. I like the one on Bandera still sells comics, but it's selective. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's weird. People uh, gas stations are still comic books. That's what we should get on the yep. trip, uh, road trip to fucking I think that's, Mexico. We should mm-hmm. buy comics and magazines. I figured out I think Mexican, that, Mexican gas stations are going to have Mexican comics. I think yeah. that's Sitco. <laughs> that's Sitco by Fredericksburg and Callahan. I think they still sell porn. Like, oh, you can, you can go to like any any yeah. Habib. One oh, yeah. they still oh. have them. Yeah, Never mind. Still there. Like, go, go to any, I can guarantee you, go to any Texaco. Yeah. You still see Texacos? Porn all over the place. Yeah. But what about a Philip 66? You think I might do good there? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Philip 69. We still, we still have a fucking diamond shamrock somewhere near town. I've there. seen one before. There's it's like one. in the middle of nowhere. City. Yeah. There's one. There's also one. No, no it's, there's one near like Bandera. It's like in a little, it's yeah, like yeah, it's like weird. Before 6 and 4. Yeah. We right. will not be Caballero. <laughs> we will uh, hold out. <laughs> We're holding out. <laughs> We're gonna hold on to our Scottish roots. Do any of you still buy magazines? Yeah. No, I don't think no. so. I, I mean, buy, comic I still, books. I, no, I still buy a couple like oh, yeah, the cigar, uh, cigar magazines, and one, one or two Maxims or um, GQs. Fucking... I mean, it's just that print's just dying. Yeah. It's just there, yeah. there's there's no room for it. I mean, honestly, comic books are maybe gonna go that way. Probably in the next like fifteen years. I think so. I don't think probably so. in the next fifteen years, it'll probably be so. I don't know. Like, there's that video. Have you seen that video on the internet? It's a new video. No. A, a parent gives her, gives his little daughter, um, a Game Boy to play with. Mm-hmm. Oh, and she's she tapping the screen. Yeah. She's yeah. trying to swipe the screen and stuff. And mm-hmm. she fucking throws it. Yeah. And she's like, like fuck this. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> Some little girl, and then she just kept touching the screen, touching the screen. She's yeah. like, it ain't working. Like, yeah. Man. You see those buttons in the bottom? The fuck's a button? But then again, people. Listen, you got up, down, left, right, A, and B, and start. I I've seen the one with the cassettes where they show the kids the cassettes and mm-hmm. they try to show them. Oh, yeah. the oh, yeah. fucking yeah. works. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think comics will ever go just digital. So much money and, and covers and stuff like that. Yeah. You holding your first print as a floppy. I mean, no. I just think that they're gonna be severely, like, cut. Maybe the indie stuff. The indie stuff and the sh- and the stuff, but like indie Marvel stuff DC. Is the indie stuff is a is thriving one. Dude. Yeah, it's what's keeping everything alive. Yeah, oh, man. I- image itself is keeping pretty much well, everything alive. Now, you, you, I don't think Image is still indie. Image has become one of the big companies. It is, but it's still indie. It's still not the big two. It's still never going to be the big two because it doesn't have its own characters. So it even that other doesn't people beat, come in and fucking make their own characters. So anything that doesn't, meet, doesn't beat Marvel and DC doesn't consider it's still indie? Yeah, it's still indie. It's not a it's not a household name like Marvel Wait, and DC. Maybe it's just becoming hold a household second, name though. Hold on a second. Let the manager speak. Oh, it's geez. not. Let's the go. people people don't even ask shit about it's independent not. stuff. I'm, I'm not dropping shit. <laughs> <laughs> but they but it's not. Image. It's, no, no, people, no. They know image because of the no. Walking Dead. They don't know that. The Walking yeah, they, they know The Walking Dead, but they don't know it's from There's Image, so many though. people that don't know that fucking... They're like, oh, Spider-Man is fighting Batman at, at fucking Marvel, right? You get that Spider-Man-Batman comic? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, there's so many people that, that, one with, that confuse that one even Marvel and DC, yeah. like, in itself, that... How is Image gonna be that? 
Those are the things I learned at a college. Because of Tom <laughs> It doesn't matter. Right. Like that, Robert that, Kirkman that, and Tom McFarlane are making Image a house name. No, they're, they're, not. they're not. Because they're not. what they're doing is they're okay, making... Well, these characters in, they're like Spawn and The Walking Dead? Yeah, but, yeah they'll know that. Yeah, but, but they like don't, said, know, they don't image. know it's Image. If you tell them, like, what, uh, do you know what company put this out? Marvel. Uh, I don't Marvel. know. <laughs> the people, people, there it is, Marvel. People yeah, they're going to be like, I don't know, Marvel? Yeah. people people. People who will watch watch The Walking Dead don't even know it's a comic book. They're like, That's "Oh, time. it's a comic book." When did they start this? Yeah, yeah uh, two hundred, two hundred. But then issues. you have the other side of the spectrum where people go to your store. That people who already like, bought comic books, so they yeah, they're know. like, "Do you have the Walking Dead comic?" Yeah, but they already know. Yeah, like they're the the that's to be a household name. Everyone has to know, even people who are not like really everybody into knows it. Batman. Yeah, but nobody. If you ask even half the people, they probably wouldn't know that he, it's DC. They'll do a 50-50 shot of Marvel or DC. Yeah. I mean, there's now, no, there's now, no second. Now everybody well, knows, now they'll know it's DC did. because... Yeah, yeah but no, 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 they'll know it's sure. DC because they fucking put DC on everything. Like, yeah. No, but... but, but <clears throat> DC percent. And in front of The Walking Dead, they put the little image. Yeah. yeah. No. Nobody, nobody understands that. They're like, what's that? Nobody what's fucking that? pays attention. You ask... Is it Kerbos? I can guarantee you, people that go to some Marvel movies probably don't even see the Marvel thing flashing. They're, they're just like, get to the movie. It's Disney now. They're on their phones. He's like, you know what, Spider-Man? Yeah, he's part of the Disney. All right. I'll play him in Infinity. Disney-verse. Disney-verse. Johnny Johnny Depp yeah. versus Batman. <laughs> I guess this is as good as any point to get into the comments room. Yep. So, remember, if you want to go ahead and comment, go ahead and do so on our YouTube. But, uh, but you can go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you're listening to this on YouTube. Uh, if you're listening on any other platform, you can go ahead and give us an email at citypod88 at gmail.com. Eric. Citypod88 at gmail.com. All right, let's Chinese see. owl. <laughs> <laughs> the old Chinese owl. All right, so <laughs> the hair goes like that. Kick, kick it off this week. It's fucking come on and slam and welcome <laughs> to the jam. Mark is like, I got this. All right, all right sorry, go, go, go for go, it. Go. Oh, what am I doing? The uh, come on and clam. Oh yeah, come on and clam and welcome to stick it in her jam. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna lose it. Shut yeah. the fuck up. <laughs> You're being gross. <laughs> that, 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 that was the remix. Oh, yeah. she, she, she's one of our only two listeners, bro. <laughs> and the other one's here. <laughs> Don't anger the audience. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, I got a sign of a prune. Oh, either way, uh, Carissa says, I never got around to commenting last week, and she put a smiley emoji. Uh, she, she also says, no joke, when you were reading the turtle thing, I legit thought prune was making a funny poem about turtle dicks. Ha. Ah. I thought so too. <laughs> then I realized he was talking about it. Oh, I did not know that. What about it? Because he's, I think that was the thing for what for me. Like is it? Yeah. <laughs> you say what is it? <laughs> he was talking about it's a gr- arch enemy. Is that fucking cosmic oh, turtle? Yeah, I think it was right, a right, thing right. from there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 cosmic turtle. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off her comments because Ooh. they're actually on top. So We're going to she... have to finish off Clarissa, bro. <laughs> God damn it. You're going to lose one of the fucking two listeners. Come on in, clap. <laughs> <laughs> and stick it in some jam. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. All right, she says, uh, well, I didn't... <laughs> well, I didn't know about the ramen thing in Austin. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to that next week. I thought it was this weekend. It's next, next week. weekend. Oh. All right. Uh, she also out. says, Kung Fu Noodle is pretty good. I'm still trying to find my fave from there, but it's okay. I'll eat it if I'm in the area. I'm trying to find a place that has a soup dumplings. I came across the one near Castle Hills, but it closed down. But I was lucky enough to have their soup dumplings, and it was freaking delicious. Mm-hmm. The rest of their menu was good, too, but they're gone. Sad face. If you find some more, let me know. Yo, Nate, what's your Chinese restaurant? Oh, you like that time? soup dumpling shit? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So angry. Uh, do you like Asian food? I know you're into the Mexican stuff, but I don't know you're yeah. into the Asian food. You into Asians? I don't know. I don't go as deep as Eric in <laughs> So you, you just visit what? the buffet style? No. I mean, just, but it's hard to think water. like... Uh, Panda Express. Because <laughs> a lot of them are no, old now and they're not as good as they used to be. You're not wrong. The your chef like chef, yeah. like Taipei, on Blanco, Menchis, uh... Man, I can't think of anything. I haven't found a good house of joy. Used to be by my house. House of joy. 
good, great name. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The House of Joy. <laughs> Welcome to the Pleasure Gasm. Because House of Joy, though. That sounds like a strip club. Mm-hmm. House of Joy had the only dumplings that were like handmade. Most times you go and you order dumplings now and you get those like Maybe. frozen ones. Oh, Actually, the ones they sell at the supermarkets yeah. now? Yeah. yeah. House of Joy still has ones where it's like handmade dough and they steam them or they fry them and then when it comes it comes in like a big thing with steam cabbage I can't and get stuff. any more harder yeah. <laughs> oh, my penis can only get so but right. I don't know I haven't been there in a while maybe now they're doing frozen ones now cause like mm-hmm. I went to Taipei the other day they used to do the same thing and hello I think fuck you goodbye <laughs> <laughs> you pay now you leave you pay go away mm-hmm. but I don't know maybe it's crazy I've never had pho I've never had what, what? We, gotta, we gotta change ramen. that ramen how is it you've been hanging out with Roman, Mark, and Eric, and never had Because they always, like, every time we were, they would always get bibimbap or whatever. Like, oh, let's go get bibimbap. Yeah, yeah. Every time. I haven't done that in a while. TBH, <laughs> I'm down for some bibimbap right now. <laughs> Me too. I like Thai coconut curry. Oh. You like the super spicy the potatoes? Stuff? No. Okay. Mine like BC. You don't have to punish yourself. Just right. relax it as spicy. Well, Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Just- Robin. <laughs> A fucking disgusting all of you. Anyways, uh, her last comment is, no one beats for how long. That's goddamn right. There you go. In yeah. anything. LOL, soup, <laughs> or rolls. I'm talking spring or Vietnamese. That's right. So, boom. That, that what's up? I didn't hear that. Okay, she says, no one beats for how long. Yeah, I got mm-hmm. that. In anything. Okay. LOL, soup, or rolls. I'm talking spring or Vietnamese. That's true. Really? Yeah, the fucking spring rolls, dude. The fresh ones? Is that the one that has the, the thick noodles in there? Yeah. I've had better spring rolls, but I will, hey, I, will, I, will sort, I will sort of agree to that. You, you, the people who are at top are now not as good anymore. Uh, but how long so, is the one next yeah. to the by, sun, right? Yeah. By default now, mm-hmm. yeah. It's a, it's a correct statement. <laughs> uh, it sounds like she won and you fucking lost, bro. I didn't lose out. Back to back. They, they suck. <laughs> back to back World War Champs. Back to back, to back World War Champs. That's right, baby. USA. 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 <laughs> that wall. American. <laughs> See, that should be our national anthem. <laughs> the Hogan song? So, so, they, so they're leaning to that be like, it's okay. He's leaning to Hogan. Fuck it. Instead of putting it on your hand, you fucking... <laughs> you start doing the ear thing? You start doing the fucking ear. <laughs> Alright, so that was all of Clarissa's comments. All the clams. Thank you, Clarissa. <laughs> all the clams have been chucked. All the clams. They have just been jammed. <laughs> if you would comment, we would make something for you, too. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I downloaded a, a sound app. Let's see. Keeping it rags with Keeping the it rags with the prune. <laughs> This is this is the step where we start just becoming <laughs> yeah we become uh, morning radio. morning radio. Yeah. Morning radio. Welcome already... back to the black man and the fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You've already got Eric's butthole idea. <laughs> there you go. What you think about it? You just be... Welcome to the morning Z. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Eric's game? Yay or nay? Real quick. It's uh, garbage. <laughs> Don't hurt, don't be afraid to hurt his feelings. I don't want to play it. <laughs> <laughs> that's we're chalking that up as a no. That's, a, that's his final answer. Mm, all right. <laughs> that's a soft man. Nobody wins. Nobody wins. <laughs> Nobody wins when the buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So <laughs> Prune's first comment. Get shit on. <laughs> Prince first comment is Eric will start honking and whistling at prostitutes when he's driving. Hell yeah. <laughs> he's not wrong. Uh, uh, salt, salt is a secret to unlocking the sweetness in milk chocolate. Yeah. Oh. You put salt in chocolate and bring You put salt food. in anything. It's an uh, enhanced the flavor. If you put uh, coffee grinds or any kind of coffee into chocolate, it brings out the chocolate flavors. Cool. No more you know. That's nice. That was my three years of culinary school. Fuck you. <laughs> Spell culinary. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it starts with the C, bitch. There you go. Yeah. That's why name's my dude. All right, so Prune also says, Eric is a fucking commie. Talking about rolling up the drug addicts should dispose of them. Sound a lot like Joseph Stalin. Good. That guy had it right. <laughs> am I right or am I right? Mm, you want me in the man. trash can? <laughs> <laughs> you an that drug, ain't you, boy? You, learn, man, you, learn, you, learn no. you can roll up the druggies. <laughs> You can spell yeah. them out a lot better than I can. You know where they, you know where they congregate. <laughs> you know how they <laughs> All right, he also says League of Titans is a Chinese ripoff of Overwatch. 
uh, check it out for the lols. Also, Mark is right. Overwatch, more like overhype. Dude. <laughs> oh, you guys are all wrong. He also said, ever heard of uh, transhumanism? Huh. I have not, but I'll have an answer for you next week. It sounds pretty stupid. Sounds Is that like the Trans-Siberian Orchestra? <laughs> 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 Pumpkin Spice and fucking Trans-Siberian Orchestra, bro. It must be October. <laughs> That's right. Fucking yeah. Boktoberfest. Um, Rocktober. Uh, Fucktober. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, so he also says, Fecal transplant are used to heal patients with colostridio? I don't know what he said. Cholera. Medical term. Medical term, uh, infections. John may need a fecal transplant. LOL. I know he needs a fucking fecal transplant. Uh, he also says a Running Man is an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. It takes place in a dystopian future where criminals have a have to escape a violent game show. It's somewhat similar to the video game Smash TV. Hell yeah, Smash Wait, TV. He had to explain to you all what the Running Man was. I guess uh, it, it's based off of a Stephen Man? King story. No. For some reason, I was thinking of that. Uh, Steve, Blade uh, Runner. No, not the Blade Runner. The big fat guy with the ice <clears throat> cannons. <throat> and then the other guy with the razor blade. And his no. name's like Razor or something. <laughs> I think it I sounds think, awful. <laughs> I think for some reason I was thinking of Demolition Man. That's uh, a restless night. That's yeah, the that was on the too. Yeah, yeah, it was, was like movie. that. Like TNT, Saturday afternoons. It would be like Running Man, Demolition Man. The other Arnold Schwarzenegger one. Lawnmower Man. Lawnmower no. Man. Yeah, Lawnmower Man. Lawnmower Man. Lawnmower Man. Lawnmower Man. Lawnmower Man. It's just Meteor a bunch Man. of... Meteor Man. Meteor Man was good, too. Uh, you didn't even nothing but good movies here, Nate. Judge Dredd Man. Star one. Man. <laughs> Terminator Man. Dark Man. Dark, Dark Man. Man. Oh, that movie <laughs> sucks, dicks. Oh, oh that man was it was, it was man. awful. Phantom Man. But he also says, what about Dr. Disrespect? I don't know what that's in reference to, so I can't say. I don't know. Oh, I think that was for Dr. What's his name from the FTC? Demento? Oh, okay. We're talking about uh, Zub Zero. Oh, okay. There you go. Boom. He go. also says, sign me up, yo. I love ramen. So, there you go. Oh, he wants to go? Apparently. But he's cool. Uh, I'm... It's a weekend. I ain't it's saying shit. Tuesday. It's Monday and Tuesday. What really? the fuck? I ain't yeah. going then. <laughs> fuck him. I am. Uh, fuck. He Are also... you sure it's Monday and Tuesday? Yes. Mm. And Prune's last comment is get sponsored by Fleshlight. Fucking if yeah, only, bro. Yeah. But don't we have a sponsor? That was we scary. do have a sponsor. Look at you, more. <laughs> Participates in class. Oh, yeah, I think we have a sponsor. <laughs> I heard. Okay, you know, for the, from the controller grips when you're fucking getting off sweaty. Yeah, we know you play. like playing Dishonored and probably Dishonored 2. Yeah. The is work. that? that? <laughs> No. Are you playing any video games right now? Oh, okay. Dark Souls? No, I think it was the same thing I told you all last time. I played that game Prey. Mm-hmm. Okay. It was pretty fun. You just like Bethesda games, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> He's a oh, you know what? I bought an old game on the PlayStation Store, that game Bully. Oh, yeah. oh that okay. was a good game. Yeah, right. I Rockstar? never played it before. I bought yeah. that one. Part 2. There's 1 and 2. It's I downloaded good. the Uncharted. There was only 1. Download There's only 1. one. They're, 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 they're going to make a 2. They're, they're talking about 2. two. They're oh. talking about it. But they're I, talking. I never played Uncharted 1, 2, and 3, but I played 4. It was pretty fun. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Nate. Wait, wait. I did the DLC. <laughs> now that I've done the DLC, I realize that Uncharted is not fun. It's just climbing <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's not it's, even fun climbing it's just pushing A like a lot like it's, it's A and up 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 for the bottom of my heart fuck you <laughs> it's like Prince Roman Prince doesn't like Prince... to believe that he likes trash but yeah, I'm oh, I'm wrong. I know I love trash I'm sure it wasn't good neither was Prince of Persia I mean sometimes it's fun oh, Prince of Persia was great I'll, still play, the, I'll give you the that first they're time killers I'll still play it to the end but I feel like I push A and up Quite a bit. Yeah. Well, you know how your I thumb gets tired, up. right? It gets, off, it gets off. It gets off. Your thumb gets tired and all sweaty. So we got the solution for that. We got grips by oh. Fake Grips. Uh, you gotta go to fakegrips.store and use promo code Grimworks. Roman, how do you spell that? Because I can't that, spell. That's capital G R I M M W O R K S for twenty percent off of anything yeah. that you order. Nate, so now you know you want twenty percent off. Now I know. There you go. <laughs> that's right, and. Uh, I guess Fade Grips sponsored basically the whole show, including <laughs> Keeping It Raised <laughs> with the Prune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As soon as I find fucking the Come On and Slam, I'm fucking doing it. <laughs> oh, dude, find a little fucking trippy clam. You, oh, you gotta edit it real bad, though, so it's like the real song was like, Come On It Slam. <laughs> you want it? 
jam. <laughs> yeah, we're fucking. You just cut out to Marseille jam and clap. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's. I think that, that's about that, it. That was, Are you looking forward to watching uh, the Thor movie? Sure. All right, there we go. So, I like Marvel movies. They're entertaining to my inner ten-year-old. What about what about? Except DC? for the Guardians of the Marvel Galaxy. Oh, the Guardians of the Galaxy not that good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking tell them, Nate. <laughs> the first one or the second one? Both. Uh, the second one's kind of boring for. I a while. think they're entertaining movies, but they they kind of it's like not real. Like I'm not I'm not picky about it's it. It's not real. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm gonna say this. None of it's real. No, I know it's not a comic book. <laughs> what I'm saying is I'm the last guy to be like, oh they changed the comics. That sucks. Change the comics, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Nobody read it. But like when you make a nice guy a bad guy or like a a good guy a nice I don't know. Wait, what? No, so what do you have to say? Yondu? What I'm saying is like Peter Yondu Quill's Star Lord in the comics is he's like Captain America in space. And his daddy's a, like a funny douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> tell him, mate. Tell him. Uh, Drax is like, he's like made to kill Thanos. And instead, like, he's just falling down and he's an idiot. Yeah, they don't say anything about him playing a sax. Yeah. No, no sax. <laughs> he he can play sex? smooth like, sax. The whole thing is, Drax is a human uh. that he was a sax player. Then he gets abducted because they're like, hey, we're going to fucking mutate you to take down... Uh, Thanos. Dang. That's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's then, his whole fucking origin. But then his backstory from the movies when it's fucking fix. Where they killed his family, right? That's his backstory in the movies? And then he plays the sax to, to sue his soul. Well, I mean, if you actually... If you had, <laughs> I actually really like Drax's character in the comics. He's cool. He's a real badass. But think about the first movie. What did he do that was badass? Nothing. And then, not only did he not do anything badass, he called... He choked, Ronin he, he choked, to come down and then got his ass beat. He choked Gamora for a bit. That was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody gave him gripe. On the yeah. Apocalypse, he, she had choke a woman who's blue and you think she's already... That's, yeah, that's, that's, blue. A, that's what we were saying. Choke green chicks. That's okay. Yeah, <laughs> blue chicks? No. Yeah. So what do you think of the Netflix TV shows? I like Jessica Jones. I know people don't like it. I like it. It's good. I think everyone hates Iron Fist. Iron Fist, I watched the whole thing. It's trash, and I yeah. loved it. Damn. <laughs> yeah, because it's trash? Yeah, it was mm -hmm. real trash. You think of Luke Cage? I it was like Luke... so, so goofy, stupid. Mm -hmm. Like, all of a sudden, someone's addicted to heroin. And then the next episode, like, <laughs> That's not how this it guy's happens. back from the dead. And you're like, what the hell is going on? And the kung fu's not good. It's not good at all. <laughs> it's like watching the Power Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of, but still, Cage? at the end of the would, day... Would Iron Fist be improved by putting the theme song of Power Rangers <laughs> over oh. Iron Fist? Luke Cage, I haven't finished. I watched the first episode. Luke Cage is like one of the better ones. he's black? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just because I, w I watched it all like backwards. Because he's black. Like I saw oh, the Defenders, then I went back and I saw Iron Fist. <laughs> 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 I drive fucking like Roman nuts. Mm -hmm. Luke, Cage is, <clears throat> Luke Cage is one of the better ones. I'm waiting for the Punisher stuff to come out. That looks really good. The only reason I'm trying to get Daredevil was the best. Punisher got yeah. basic bitch written all over it. I think now. Daredevil was a good show, but very generic. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. You could have just, like, taken off his costume and just called it, like... Guy who fights crime. Matt, Matt Branson, crime fighter. <laughs> <laughs> and, and everyone would be like, oh, Matt Branson's a pretty good show. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Branson. <laughs> Instead, they put on the Daredevil costume, and then they're like, man, Daredevil, yeah. It's the greatest show. Well, it's okay. It's, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not the best, but it's what we got. Yeah. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> we're going to end this episode. It's been episode 60. Yeah. <laughs> 112. 112. Oh, I'm here with. Yeah, boy, Eric. Hate that boy. Roman? Nathan. Also Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> and like always. Bye. Bye. Bye.